myself a secret hot tub. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Gavin, and today I'm in Mount Tremblant, Quebec, in my hotel room. I had some time, so I want to make a video today talking about how I prepare for shows. I have two of the biggest shows I've ever played coming up next week. The first one is Ottawa Blues Fest. The Killers are playing that, and Logic's playing it, and Snoop Dogg and the Backstreet Boys. So it's it's. I'm nervous and I'm excited, uh, and then I'm coming back here and I'm special guesting with my buddy Spencer McKenzie uh, on the main stage, which I'll, I'll show you that in uh, in a minute. And I'm here with my uh, my Revolta Combinata. If you saw my last video, uh, I got a sponsor. They make these fantastic guitars. It's my number one rule for preparing for a big show, uh, especially one like next week for me. It doesn't matter though, any show. I know with a lot of musicians, money can be kind of tough to come by, but you know, make sure you spend the money on on the parts that matter. Get yourself a good cable. Make sure your amp works, all that stuff, because the last thing you want is to prepare for a show and then have a gear failure. It's happened to me before. Uh, you don't want that. So I've talked to a lot of you guys on Instagram, and I know there's a lot of you who play in bands, and you're probably wondering how to make it to that next step of playing big festivals and shows and stuff like that. And unfortunately, there's no easy answer to that. It's all hard work, but just being a good musician or a good guitar player doesn't cut it. you got to put in work. Make contacts, uh, email as many festival bookers as possible. The next piece of advice I could give if you're a, a, an up and coming musician is treat every show as if it's the biggest show you've ever played. That sounds kind of crazy, but I've played small shows before where there's no one there and you, you feel like not giving it 100%, and then there ends up being someone there who could get you another show. So I don't know, I always try to treat every show professionally. That's really it. Here's my view from the hotel room. Uh, the stage I'm playing is right behind those buildings right there, so I'll, I'll go show that to you guys. Here's the stage we'll be playing next week with Spencer McKenzie. I'm uh, special guesting, so I'm going to go up and play Hollow on this stage. It's going to be packed for the Blues Festival. It's like the biggest stage I've ever played in my life. Uh, what else? And it's like right in the middle of the village, main stage. Eric Gales is playing here, Larkin Post playing here. Your boy's playing here. Who's that? Oh, who's that? Who's, who's that? Hmm. I don't know. Is that GT3? Oh. I'm looking for a GoPro charger. Whoa. We have found Centre d'Electronics, uh, which sounds like exactly what we need. It's in French because everyone speaks French here, for anyone wondering. So, buddy at the electronics store in town hooked it up big time. This is clutch. Micro USB, gonna go charge the GoPro, and then uh, fun will ensue after that, I promise. Cheers to success. I can't see how this couldn't be good, you know? So one crazy thing is I know a lot of people who watch me from the US. Uh, where I live in Ontario, drinking age is 19. I'm 19. Here in Quebec, it's 18. You only have to be 18 to drink, go to the casino, all that stuff, which is kind of nuts. So here's another one of the stages right there. Uh, and this gondola takes us up the hill. And uh, I got myself an ice cream. Just a good day, man. Gonna go back to the hotel, chill for a little bit. We played this mini golf yesterday. Okay, so we just finished lunch, and we're gonna go do the luge, and I finally have this thing set up. It's been a while since this has been on the channel, so we'll see how this goes. I'm gonna put it on, face it back of myself. Uh, Jesus Christ. And we'll <laughs> I'll get back to this camera in a minute, so we'll see you then. So, he beat me yesterday. He's a little heavier, so that's definitely on your side, but I'm feeling good today, and I'm not hitting the brakes once. No. If you're wondering why the camera's up here, uh, I forgot my tripod. So this is the best we this is the best we can get. Okay, so that's it for today. We got a lot more fun stuff going on tomorrow. Uh, we're golfing. And then after that, I'm gonna talk a little more about my shows coming up, maybe play a little more guitar, all that stuff. I'm gonna go for a swim right now, but that's it for today. Uh, I will see you at the pool, and then I will see you tomorrow.
Hey guys, we're on the golf course right now. Beautiful golf course. What is it called? Le Diable. Le Diable. A lot of sand, but beautiful day and there's no one on the course. Oh, beauty. This shot right there, that's like a 75, what is that elevation, like 100 feet? It's crazy. Down to a little par three. This is our last day at Mount Charm Lost. Uh, yesterday, we saw some great bands, so I'll put some clips up of that. We went to the casino and saw uh, some of our friends were playing there. A lot of great music going on at the festival here. So, we're gonna chill today. I'm gonna go back to the hotel, play some guitar, end off the video, and then I've got a bunch of video stuff coming out this week. Uh, I wanna go to Ottawa, play there, and then when I come back here to play, so. Uh, yeah, right now we're going up the mountain, up the gondola. Great coffee, and I'll take some nice cinematic shots. Look at that. Look at the water over there. You can't even see the village, basically. Should I put my camera outside the... No, 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 no. Mark my words, we will be back snowboarding here. Made it to the top of the mountain, and it's so, so nice up here. It makes you want to snowboard so bad. Like, I actually think it would probably take you like 30, 30 or 40 minutes to get down that hill, snowboarding. Unless you're me, and then it takes you maybe six minutes. I'm gonna do a bit of a trick here. Uh, I don't know if ready for it. Oh, he's told me not to do it, ready? Give it to me. Gavin. Yeah. Just sit here. Yeah. Sit on top of that and I'll get a picture. What? Sit on top of there and I'll get a picture. Yeah. Obviously. No. We're gonna have a special guest next week on the main stage. I'm uh I'm gonna get a wireless guitar unit. I'm gonna gondola up here and then play the solo from up here. Bring distant points of interest within close range with the use of this machine. That's awesome. What in God's name? Oh, stack two quarters in the slot. Oh. That's awesome. Okay, Gavin, tell us what you see. What do you see? Uh, nothing. Hannah? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Went to the top of the lookout, and it was very fun. Very good view. Got an Instagram banger. <laughs> My mom takes great pics. Going down. Oh, you got more bug bites. Yeah, bug bites. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. That's probably all we need, right? Okay, guys, so that's it for me here at Mount Chamblain. We got some more stuff to do today, but uh, I'm just going to do a little rehearsal for next week. Anyway, I wanted to show you guys something. The other day when we played in uh, at the Harbor Front in Toronto, I recorded the set uh, with a little microphone on my phone. I put it right next to the drum kit, and we got a lot of, like, it's basically all drums and bass. Uh, which is actually good because I'm going to rehearse the set with that recording in the background and then play over top of it. And uh, it's, actually, it's actually really good for practicing. So. And then you can just kind of pick out all the little mistakes that you made and uh, try to fix them. So I'm playing straight into GarageBand and uh, I've got my Revolta Combinata here, gorgeous guitar. Uh, I've got a full review and all that stuff coming out with this thing. But I'm just kind of getting to know it right now and I love it so far. Cool, so I'm going to play through the set. I'll put some highlights in here. And then uh, that'll be it for the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. We're playing Ottawa, so awesome. See you guys. <laughs>
Who's that? Oh. Who's that? Who's, who's that? Hmm. I don't know.